The press conference today, as the official said, is very important as we notice that the time lasting for over two hours. Uh, during the past two hours, it illustrated the significance, the purpose and far-reaching influence of the national security law for the Hong Kong SAR. The senior officials explained the details of the law. They are from National People's Congress, China's top legislature body, and the Hong Kong and Macau Affairs Office of the State Council. They said the pass of the law on Tuesday is a turning point for Hong Kong to return to normal track. It's also the resolute effort taken by the central government that it will take uh, will make the secession, subversion, and collusion with foreign forces illegal. The people convicted of the national security crimes and could face up to life imprisonment. The official said the law is a sword deterring people who endanger national security and guarding protecting Hong Kong residents. And this said the law is an important step to take corrective action to the unrest in Hong Kong. It is indeed the improvement to the one country, two systems, uh, this, is policy, this principle. To make the law within the short time is based on the fact that there have been big voices in China and that such legislation is important. And next, it will be listed in an Annex 3 of the Hong Kong Basic Law. And before that, there will be consultation to China's top legislation and SAR government of Hong Kong. An official in the press conference dismissed the allegation from certain countries and politicians that the law will damage the social order in Hong Kong as they are. And the official said that making the law is China's internal affair and central government will fully support the implementation of the law in Hong Kong as they are, prevent interference and safeguard Hong Kong's fundamental interest. As to uh, the question, because the, this law was passed on Tuesday, as to uh, those illegal acts that happened before Tuesday, uh, let's take a listen to what the official said. According to Article 66, this law shall come into force on the date of its promulgation. Does this mean that offenses endangering national security which occurred before the promulgation of this law will not be investigated or prosecuted? Well, in terms of retroactivity, this law is consistent with the general principle of laws in force in the world. It doesn't have retroactive effect. This is very clear. This shows that this new law follows the modern principles. So, in a word, uh, as the press conference shows, a very strong signal that these, uh, this making of the law, making of the national security all on in Hong Kong ACR is a very, very important step uh, to restore peace and to safeguard Hong Kong's fundamental interest, not only the current interest, but also the long-term interest for the area and also for these citizens.